Hey all, guess where I am? I'm in Japan. So today we're in Shibuya Station and we're going to be shopping here. I have a couple places planned. Camping stores, cosmetic stores, good food. Let's explore Japan. Starting my journey with Shibuya Scramble Square. This is Tokyo's tallest skyscraper. It has 47 floors above ground and 7 basement levels, making it the tallest building in Shibuya. This is a Starbucks in Japan. They're so cute. I'm already amazed at how beautiful this shopping center is and the selection it has to offer. I noticed this bookstore features a section on fire movement, which is what I'm always interested in. Financial independence retire early. It's interesting how I flew halfway across the globe and still see the interesting, familiar things. On the bottom shelf, I noticed this section. I'm gonna guess this is about how to create a YouTube business. Next, we're gonna check out this cosmetic store called Tokyo Hands. Check out Tokyo Hand. Feels like a Daiso store, but they're more expensive. Look, this is what they sell. It's better quality though, much softer. Not as cute. Stanley Tumblr immediately grabbed my attention. It's soothing to know that Japanese also like the same Tumblr as my fellow Americans. I found this on Google Map because I'm looking for somewhere to buy toothpaste and hand cream. It looks like this store has more than that to offer. I do this at home. Posture Pal. Oh, it corrects posture. Oh, well, it's very useful. Huh. Before, after. <laughs> This is a selection of lunchbox to make rice ball. This is what I end up getting, a sponge, eye mask, toothpaste for sensitive gums, hand cream, a calendar for 2025. I think this one is like 1900. We're on the ninth floor of Shibuya Scramble Square. I think ninth floor is all for camping stuff, but they make it look very, I don't know, organized and chic. It feels better than REI for some reason. Oh, check out their tank. Oh, tanks. Check out their tents. Wow, so cute. Oh. I want a knife. It's a holder knife. It's 15. 15 is not very expensive. I saw these from a lot of YouTubers in Korea that use this. It's actually very big in person. Here is my hand. I also see lots of the van life people in Asia use this kind of thing to pour soju. Oh, this thing is 70 dollars. It's so Wow, look at these lights, so beautiful. There is a lot of greens. Oh, this is my this plants though. Yeti here is so many. It's such a big Yeti bottle. Look at this garden store. Wow, how beautiful. Wow, these are all my favorite things. It's these. Two hundred. Two hundred and one of those glass plants. I have a much smaller version of this plant. For lunch, we just went up to the ninth floor because I saw the picture of the yakitori, so I was attracted to this restaurant. To be honest, the food is not amazingly delicious. It was good, but the price... I feel the price is a bit high. I expect more delicious food from this. After lunch, we walk back to our hotel. The Shibuya Scramble Square shopping center is only a five minute walk away from the hotel. My hotel is called Haya House. It's really new. It was built in 2023. We booked the hotel before it was opened using points. Now this hotel is very popular, so they no longer accept booking using points. 
Each night costs anywhere from $500 to $1,000 depending on the room size and the day of the week. For Tokyo, the room is considered very big already. Welcome to Takeshita Street. This is right outside the Harajuku station. This vibrant spot is packed with trendy shops, quirky fashion, and sweet treats at every turn. Since I like kawaii accessories and nice sweet creeps, I decided to check out this place. First, we're gonna start with Inas Cafe. On the second floor of the Peanuts Cafe is the Katsu and Ribble restaurant. This place is a dessert shop that specializes in fruit parfaits and fruit juice. We were here in October. The season seems to be good for grapes. We order a grape parfait. This is the best grape I've ever had in my life. I have a grape parfait. I don't even know where to Just the right amount of sweetness, water, pumpness, it was awesome. Oh, paper straw. The grapefruit juice also was refreshing. Great charge of vitamin C. Menji Jinku is a must stop for me in Harajuku. This is a Shinko shrine located in Tokyo. Only 5 minutes by walk from the Takashita street. Menji Jinku is a symbol of peace and the nature in the heart of the city. Let's explore its history and significance. This Shingo or shrine is dedicated to Emperor Meiji and Empress Shogun. It was completed in 1920. The shrine is set within a 170 acre forest, featuring over 100,000 trees donated from across Japan. When we walk through the pathways, we see many people were painting. Everywhere you see can produce a beautiful picture. After exploring the Jingu, it's natural to walk over 3 minutes to the Yoyogi Park. I came to this park before because I know I can see dogs. If you walk further into the park, you can see Rose Garden and Dog Park. I didn't walk that way because we got a couple mosquito bites, so we took the train back to Shibuya. Shibuya is Tokyo's vibrant heart, famous for its bustling scramble crossing, neon lights, and shopping. It's a hub of culture, fashion, energy, day or night. For dinner, we didn't do too much research and came across this yakitori place. The clear drink is plum sake mixed with soda, best alcoholic drink I've had for years. The yakitori were on point. Chicken meat was fresh, nicely grilled. I love the jalapeno pepper grill too. It was worth the price. This is the front courtyard of our hotel. It looks super beautiful in the evening. I had a wonderful first day in Japan, Tokyo. Tomorrow, we're waking up early because we're taking the train to Lake Kawajuku. See you in the morning. Japan. Good morning, Japan. Almost no one on the street. A couple restaurants are open early. I went to check out their 7-Eleven to get some quick breakfast. I saw a Japanese girl at the train station purchase these pudding. I was really tempted to get it, but it was too early and a bit cold, so I went for a bakery instead. Also came across these magazines. Hey y'all, I'm second day in Japan and I'm at the Shinjuku, Shinjuku subway station. We're going to take an hour plus of train from 
Shinjuku to Lake Kawaguchi. I bought the handcrafted ginger ale. It was super good. And I noticed the subway station have all these boots that sell fresh made food in to go boxes. I think it's an awesome pair for a long train ride. After checking out all the boots, I decided to go with the one taking on the train. The food tasted just as good as it looks. The train, however, was not as comfortable as I thought it would be. For some reason, in my memory, 10 years ago, these high speed trains don't allow people to stand in the hallway. But in my train ride, the hallway was full of people standing. Almost two hours later, I arrived in Lake Kawachiki. It was all worth it after I get off the train and see Mount Fuji in such a beautiful view. Next video, I will show you the hot spring hotel we booked. It's my first time staying in such a hotel. The Japanese garden is super pretty. We have our private hot spring. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for being here. Take care until the next one. Remember sunsets in Boston Kissing yellow concrete